door knocking and talk to businesses about my network marketing opportunity. So people have asked me this question over and over and over again. And you know what? It's completely logical. Um, we think, hey, this person is a business owner. So first and foremost, <laughs> they like to make money, right? That's the first thing. Second of all, we're like, okay, our product is this. They have a business like this, completely congruent, right? Like this is a no brainer. Nah, okay, so we're gonna ring the buzzer there and we're gonna talk about this. Because I have uh, I recently had a conversation with someone about this and I hear from people all the time that ask me this question and sometimes they will actually go out to the streets, they start door knocking and they don't really get the results that they're looking for. So we're gonna talk about why that is and we're also gonna talk about some things that you can do to overcome those challenges, to you know, kind of uh, uh, come against the things that may be fighting against you. Okay, so here's the story. My personal belief is this is not a fabulous way to grow your business. Now you may wonder like, why? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's why. Okay. So in my other life, <laughs> prior to doing network marketing and actually while I was growing my business, um, one of the things that I did is I had a credit card processing business. And so I would go out to very, very busy sections of uh, the town that I live in and I would cold call. I would knock, knock, knock. I would go to the door. I would look for the business owner and I would want to talk to them to try and earn their business. And you know, here is one of the very big fundamental problems with doing that, okay? Let's say you're at home and somebody comes and they knock on your door and they look kinda like a salesperson. What is like the number one goal that you have? How can I either not answer the door <laughs> or if I do answer the door and see what they say, more than likely we kinda look at them like this, okay? We don't see them as an even playing field. If your neighbor came to the door and you're like, oh, you're my neighbor. In fact, I just moved, right? So I'm meeting all the neighbors. It's like, oh, I live right next door. Or I live across the street or I live here. It's a very tight knit community where I'm at. Um, so in any case, so if a neighbor comes to the door, you're like, oh, you see them as equals, right? But if somebody that is like a salesperson or someone that wants something from you or someone, who knows, right? You're like, why are you soliciting me and what do you want? So where, where, do, where, how do we view them? Oh, kind of goes down a little bit. Do you know what I'm talking about? So here's what happened when I was out and I was cold calling. I was the salesperson, okay? And that is how uh, the business owners would view me. So posture and where you're at with your prospects, very important, okay? Our goal is we wanna be on an even playing field. Okay. So if they think they're all big and bad and you're, you know, uh, the, you know, they're, they're, uh, what is it? The gorilla, right? And you're like a little ant posture is not the same, right? Because they're kind of looking down like, what can I do for you? What, what, why are you here? You know, that kind of thing. But if we had an even playing field, like when you're talking to your friends, right? Your equals, when you're talking to your relatives, when you're talking to someone that, Ooh, maybe you do business with, right? Like you already buy their stuff. Now, guess what? Not only are you equal, you're actually higher than equal, and here's why. What's the rule of the game that they talk about in customer service? The customer is always right. So let's talk about what are the other alternatives that you can do uh, if you're thinking about going out there and you do really wanna grow your business. Now, let's talk about what are some other solutions like so we have this problem and the problem is uh, we want it to go faster right we're ready to go our business we're ready to get this party started we're ready to go to the next level and that just seems like a logical thing but apparently maybe not so much right so what are some other options okay well the first one I kind of already talked about a little bit okay so here's what it is if you have people and you get your nails done you get your hair done you get your dry cleaning done it's your favorite restaurant we want to talk to those people <laughs> and guess what? You're the customer. You're always right. And so how can you approach them? Right? What can you say? How can you make it like, okay, now you're in a position of strength, right? You're not coming from the, the little ant to the gorilla, right? You're in a position of, of strength. So how do we talk to them and what do we say? So one of the things that you can do is just say, Hey, listen, I have a business. I'm expanding here. I'd love to sit down and talk with you more about it and go for a one-on-one. -on -one. If you want, you can have them try your product. You get to decide what it is that you want to do. 
So it's completely up to you how you approach them, but it's literally as simple as that. Hey, so-and-so, you know what? You've been doing my dry cleaning for like, how long now? How long have you been in business? I know I was one of your first customers. So five years, okay, wow. Hey, listen, you know what? I have a business actually just kicking this thing off. And you know what? I'd love for you to be one of my customers. I've been your customer for a good long time. Let's sit down, I'd love to share with you more about what I have. Get an appointment, get a couple minutes of their time or say, hey, listen, if you, you're busy, got a lot of stuff going on, feel free, you can send them a video. Me personally, I would take the one-on-one -on -one route. If you can, I usually find that it's very effective. <laughs> Whereas videos are a little bit more nonchalant. So you're not giving them FaceTime, right? So consider doing something like that. Another option, how about networking events, okay? I don't care where you were at, every place, pretty much that has a city has some type of networking event. So go on Google and Google, you know, chamber of commerce in your city and see what comes up and get around other people that are business minded. They may be business owners that are out there marketing their small business, or they may be, um, you know, employees working for a company, but they're out there hustling again, trying to generate some business. So that is a great thing that you can do. And the last thing, another option for you is, interest groups. There's two kinds of interest groups that I can recommend. You, you can do a live interest group or you can do a social media interest group. So what do those look like? Well, again, if you go to Google, what you can do is go to meetup.com, meet, M-E-E-T, up, U-P, dot com, meetup.com. And if you go to meetup.com, you can find a group for like everything, like a flower making group, right? <laughs> I mean, there's like everything on these groups. So there's no telling what you can come up with. But if you have an interest in something and it's something that you already like to do anyways, get involved with a group, be a part of something, get around a new circle of influence where you can meet some people. Now let's transition to the online world. Let's say you have that interest and it is you know, hey, you have an interest in you're an awesome chess player or you want to be a part of, you know, Christian network marketers or whatever, you know, get involved with something where you can get around some new people. Now, how do you work a group, right? Well, you want to go there and you want to add value to the group. You want to be a participant, right? There's uh, consumers and there's producers, right? So be a producer, bring someone that brings something to the table, whether you're going to an actual meetup, an actual event, you know, participate, be there, encourage people, bring some snacks. I mean, just do something that adds value. If you're doing something and it's like an online group or something like that, you can, you know, hey, if someone posts a question, hey, if you know the answer, jump in and say, hey, you know, I had an experience like that and here's what happened. Do something that contributes to the group as a whole and people will start to notice who you are. You're gonna get the attention of a lot of people and you're gonna start building some relationships. So those are a couple of things that you can do if you're like, how do I make this hurry on up? <laughs> um, I would not recommend door knocking, but I would recommend those other three things or four things that we actually talked about tonight. Now, one of the things that is so, so critical, it's, it's like super important. If you want to grow your business and go to the next level, a lot of times there is stuff in our life, in our mind, in our heart, there's like baggage that we have been carrying around and we're trying to move forward, but it's like we are, you know, trying to go for second base, but we still have our foot on first. Like we can't make that happen, right? So how do we let go of that, let go of first base so that we can get to second, right? How do we let go of third base so we can get, get to home? We can make a home run. We have to learn to get rid of some of the nonsense of the past of things that have been holding us back and dial in on the activities and the things that it's gonna take for us to push forward and to get into our future. So what am I talking about and what's the solution here? <laughs> well, if you click on the link that's listed here in the description, this is a special bonus training. This is something I put together specifically for you. You know, people that want more out of life and they're willing to go for it, they're sick of settling, they're sick of the status quo, they're sick of going to work for their boss and, you know, having to punch a time clock, not getting paid what they're worth. Are you with me? So this is designed for people that want to break the mold. Like you are not supposed to fit a round peg in a square hole. Like you are different than everybody else out there. 
Do you know what I'm talking about? So if that's you and you're ready to go to the next level in your life, you're ready for a breakthrough. You're ready to finally cut the, cut the crap, cut the, cut the nonsense in, in a rank advance and get paid what you're worth. Start earning, you know, a value that's more congruent with who you are as a person and the value you bring to the marketplace and the life that you know is possible because you see people all around you are having it happen for them and they're rank advancing and they're moving forward and they're retiring from their job and they're getting the life that they've always dreamed of in a why not you? Why not now? So if you are ready to step on up and receive your breakthrough, then I highly encourage you click on the link that's listed here. It's going to take you off of Facebook. You're going to enter your email and it will give you access to this very special bonus training. So that is it for tonight, my friends. Guys, I hope this added some value. If you learned something, let me know. If you got a gold nugget, if you got an aha moment, drop it in the comment section. If maybe you're like, oh yeah, I was totally thinking about, you know, going out there door knocking and now I'm glad I know, you know, some of the pitfalls to watch out for, but I have a couple other things that I could use. Or if you're like, hey, yeah, I knew, I already tried that. I, I, it wasn't a good experience for me, but now I'm gonna start, you know, getting involved in different social media groups online or, hey, I'm gonna get to a networking event or, hey, you know what, I got a lot of people that I buy stuff from that I need to approach. So whatever the case is, case is drop a note, let me know there. And um, of course, feel free to share this with the people that you have in your team or tag them. So that is it for tonight, my friends. Take care, be blessed, and have an amazing night. For more great training and to receive your free bonus training, the 10-step process for getting out of your own way and finally rank advancing, visit summergeronimo.com.